Launching a website is stressful. I get it. I've got the ultimate website launch checklist and we're going to review that today. When it comes to SEO, you have a footprint. You have a history of your website, all the pages that you've ever created, um, what you have now, the backlinks to those pages. It's all part of your reputation you've built up over time. What happens when we get all excited about launching a new website is we forget about all that history and we start all over like a brand new baby. We lose all of our backlinks, we lose all of our history, and we start all over again. We don't want to do that for SEO because that legacy, that expertise over time means a lot to search engines. And when we go to update our website, we get so excited about the look and feel that we forget about the legacy that we have to maintain. So today we're going to talk about the website launch checklist. Before you launch, you must go through this process to make sure that you maintain those legacy links and pages. We don't want to start all over when we launch a new website. There's three critical elements in a pre-launch strategy. So after you have it all designed, hopefully you've made it findable with my instruction and you're ready to flip the switch, there's some very important components that need to be done. We're going to talk about this in three different stages. The first stage is before launch. Those are all the flips, the levers, the switches that we need to make sure we've covered before we ever even turn the website on. The next one is going to be after I launch. What are all the things I need to check after I launch? And then of course, what do I need to reference ongoing? So let's talk a little bit first about before we launch. Remember that we have this backlink profile. All the people that have linked to our website, our blogs, over time. In the website launch checklist, which is downloadable from the description below, you can pause the video right now, go get it, and then turn this back on and we'll follow through this together. Okay, so we're ready for phase one, which is pre-launch. So you have a backlink profile. You've got all these pages that Google knows and has memorized. We don't want to lose those. So one of the most important thing is you want to make sure that you do something called an HT Access Redirect. And that's HT Access Redirect or just a redirect document. The geek in your life will know how to create this. But what's important is you take all the old pages that aren't on your existing site and you map them to the new pages of your site so that you're not, you don't want to break those links, you want them to be passed. So you have a, a, it's more or less an Excel spreadsheet with all the old pages, all the new pages. You pop that up on the host so that when you launch your site, you don't lose those connections. You pass the juice, if you will, from the old pages to the new pages. Some of the most common issues I see is people pull the whole website down. They delete a bunch of pages to simplify or clean up. Don't do that. Archive them. Do not ever delete any pages. Archive them or point them to their new variant on the new site. But don't delete pages. That's a big no-no because you have those. It would be like if you were a professor, you had all these published works. You go to a new university and you don't tell them about any year old work. You're starting all brand new. You don't want to look like that, especially if you're launching a brand new website. You want your ranking to continue to go up. And if you just start, I've had people, I always kind of cringe because you'll say, oh, we deleted a bunch of pages. We simplified it. We have a nice clean look. And that's when I'm like, oh no, because they've, they've literally started from scratch all over again. So make sure you have those permanent redirects that are ready to go. Also, you need to do something called an XML sitemap. This is what talks to Google and make sure that Google sees every single page in your website so when you launch it, you get credit for all the old pages as well as all the new pages. Some other things is Google Alerts. People really, I think, think they have Google Alerts set up correctly, but they don't. We go to google.com slash alerts. Make sure you're tracking your website name, all of your key figures in the company, any respective products, and keep an eye on what they are saying about those particular uh, phrases and people in your company. Make sure you've got Google Alerts set up. But the trick with Google Alerts is make sure you have all the phrases that you want to track in quotes. So you only get that exact reference in your Google Alerts. Very important. The next one is a, a tool I call mention.com. 
it will watch and monitor all of the social media uh, comments about your company. Just like Google Alerts for web results, Mention.com um, let you listen to everything that's being said about your company. So you might want to consider a listening tool like mention.com. There's a lot of other ones that you can use as well. Now, WordPress. So let's talk a little bit about the platform that your website's on. A platform is like WordPress, there's also Drupal, there's Joomla, there's a lot of different platforms out there. And whoever you've hired to build your website has their favorite. Make sure that before you flip that switch that you've gone through the checklist with them and they've made that correlate with the platform you've decided to launch on. I'm going to talk about WordPress for a minute because it is the most prolific and most used of the CMS platforms. But whatever you do, check these things out. Now, with WordPress, you're going to update all the plugins. You're going to make sure you have the latest update of WordPress. Two really important plugins that you want to think about using one is Yoast, like toast, you put butter and jam on, but it is Yoast, Y-O-A-S-T dot com, or SEO all in one. What this will do is when you launch your new website and you're trying to optimize it for one specific keyword, you get all green lights if that keyword is in all the right locations on the website. It's really helpful. You get red, yellow, or green lights. It's fantastic. So just follow the rest of the things that are recommended on our website launch checklist. Again, it's downloadable from the link in the description. And have a high quality conversation with your web developer before the website is ever launched. So you can maintain your authority from your old site to your new site. Don't drop the ball before you launch your new website. Make sure to download the checklist. It's in the description below so that you make sure all of those little tiny details that are so important to Google get addressed. Thanks so much for watching. If you love this channel, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell so you get daily announcements of our good videos.